Hey y'all, Ailey here. Welcome back to my channel. This isn't exactly the video I meant to make today. Um, I hopefully will still make that. I have a little bit more I need to do before I make it, and it of course being the Who Won the Giveaway video. Because um, I do have the winners. That's weird. Um, but I noticed I was on Ulta, and I realized that something that I need to do a video for is now on sale. When I bought it, it was $29.99, or maybe just $29 even. I think it was $29.99. Now it's on sale for $19.99. So I wanted to go ahead and show this to you in case you decide you want to get one. I, it came in two colors, so I, of course, had to get both. It's these cute little train case style boxes. Um, they're not, like, super, super sturdy. You know, I wouldn't, like, take them on a, you know, plane. I don't know if you can see... They are kind of squishable on all sides. Yeah, I think that's showing it pretty well. But they came in this pretty teal color. And who could say no to this? This is gorgeous pearly teal. And then a rose gold. Pearly rose, rose gold as well. So let's see what's inside. I guess that, oh, okay. That says everything that's inside. Yes, I paid $29.99. It says it's $179 value. This is Beauty Box Jet Setter Edition. So if you do decide you want to get this, that's what you're going to look for. Yeah, they're both called that. 55-piece collection. And it is all Ulta Beauty um, collection products. So it has a zipper. And you open it up. Oh, that's weird. There's no mirror. That surprises me. For what I actually want to do with these, that's actually a good thing, though. <laughs> okay, so then we've got two little things that lift up out of the middle and we've got some stuff here in the bottom but I'm pretty sure this is just a let's see if we can get this out yeah there's nothing else so oh, that's interesting <laughs> um so we just got that and then there's just the bottom place there how deep does this go down okay it looks like it doesn't go any deeper yeah, really, I say about where this uh, little thing right here ends. It's how deep. So all the rest of this is stuff you could fill, a space you could fill. So you could actually put some bigger pots of, like, lotions and stuff. That's nice. Oh, wow. Okay, there's, what does it say? The cheat look at the rose gold one. 32 eyeshadows, because they're not kidding. Yeah, these just pop right out. So you've got all these eyeshadows, and then are these eyeshadows. Um, they call these two down here lilac and silver glitter top coat for. So um, silver. Let me see. Can this just come right off? Knowing them and their love for tape. Yep. Oh come on! I never plan ahead. <laughs> So there we go. So I've got silver and a lilac top, uh, glitter top coat. And they've got some pearl colors and some mattes. Nice little assortment there of neutrals and pretty plums and greens and blues. And then over on this side, I'll get this little bit of tape off. Okay. We've got, what do they call these? Just a gold and rose gold, although I think that's more like a pink or a rose just by itself, not really rose gold. But those are the little glitter top coats on this side. And then you've got some more purples and plums and some more neutrals. So a really nice assortment of colors. I'm really very pleased with that. Wow, well, okay. And then in the next layer, Okay, I was wondering if it would have some. We've got a matte bronzer, and then a peach blush, a rose blush, a champagne highlighter, and a gold highlighter. I'm not going to bother to take these out, but I think they're showing up pretty well. And then on this leg, you got a brow wax. Um, oh, this is nice. You get a taupe brow powder, a medium brown, medium brown brow powder. <laughs> My mouth didn't want to say that. Deep brown brow powder. Ooh. Huh. 
Okay, this is something new to me. It's got a black gel eyeliner. All of a sudden I feel like I can't read or speak or something. Black gel eyeliner, navy gel eyeliner, and plum gel eyeliner. Let me take the tape off here and show you these guys. Just in case it doesn't do justice. They're, you, you need a kind of a paintbrush to do these. What, what would you use? It just comes with these you know, basic, you've got like a, was that a blush? Yeah, a blush brush and then a dual ended, not real thrilled with that. I'm not big into dual ended brushes, but an eyeshadow and then a brow brush and then the blush brush. So that's all you've got as far as brushes go. Would you like, I don't know, would you do it a lip brush? If you've ever had eye, or not eyebrow, um, eyeliners like these, I mean, that a gorgeous plum, that blue is really pretty too. I'd use both of these. Let me know if you've ever had them like this. Uh, is it, it says it's gel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch the black. It's like, yeah, it reminds me of Halloween paint, your know, face paint. I have no idea what I expected when I smelled them. There's the three colors. I don't really know what to make of this. I, I'm a little intrigued. Oh, I thought they had a wipe. Oh, shoot. I just. Well, there's black on the blanket now. <laughs> That's okay. The blanket got paint on it the day I opened it. <laughs> it's a gray blanket. It's got a big old splotch of blue paint. So now it has a little black eyeliner on it. Okay, well, comes off nice and easily. You know, if you use this, however you use this, that baffles me. Okay, I mean, they're really pretty. Um, I do like also that there are three uh, brow colors. That's nice. Okay, and then what's left in here? We've got, so those brushes. This is such an interesting way to package it. And we've got a dual lip liner in a rosewood and nude pink. Got a, oh, and then we've got a clear brow gel and a mauve lip gloss, which I really love. I love this lip gloss. This is one that I use a lot. I get, they, they kind of have this one in all their kits. Um, but here's the clear um brow gel and then you get a rose gold lip gloss right. oops and then you get oh an eyeshadow primer you know i was kind of hoping this i don't remember what i was watching a video i kind of want to say it may have been burkana links um oh my gosh boxy charm video from yesterday that she uploaded and it just got me thinking that you know how many people use eyeshadow primer because you know, I don't use primers as a rule but every once in a while I will use an eyeshadow primer I shouldn't say I don't use primer as a rule I just don't use primer but every once in a while like I said I will use eyeshadow primer well okay that just came out so I thought I'm just wondering I was kind of thinking in you know, my next video I might do a little demonstration of what so here's what it looks like. It kind of splurted out. And I've got it on my hand right here. So I thought what I would do is put some on. Not quite that thick. There we go. And then do a demonstration of what it does. Because it's really nice when you have... Um, say a palette of colors that aren't that strong but you really like the colors eyeshadow primer can be your best friend let's see let's do this really pretty teal sort of green almost a tiffany blue there it is on my finger and i'm going to do it next to it so there it is just on my skin and then well primer is not really set yet 
but still. Okay, this is not turned out to be a good example. I didn't think, I guess I should have put primer on and then waited a while because you do have to wait a little, let it set. Let me try to see if I have a color that's not that vibrant. Oh, except that I kind of smeared that all over. Well, hang on. Here's me at my professional best. Oh, okay. This, I think, might actually be a good example. How well you can see it. Um, here is this, I don't know, it's a lilac sort of color right there. And there it is on the primer. And actually, there's some right here that's not on the primer. So it's kind of half and half here. But see how much more shimmer there is? The part that's got a really nice shimmer? That's the part that's on the primer. It just sort of gives the eyeshadow something to grab onto. So I do like to use it. Um, do I use it very often now? Because no. it's just another step and I'm a lazy person. <laughs> so, but I do, I do like it. It's nice to use if you want a more intense color especially when it's something that's really pale, like that one right there. That's the one that I just did. Um, so we've got this, like I said, they've got it in rose gold and they've got it in teal. This gorgeous. I really am pleased. I actually am going to be using these for doll clothes because right now my doll clothes are just in a uh, printer paper box I brought home from work. So they really need a new home. So that's what I want these for. That's why I'm really glad they're deep like this. So I'm glad it doesn't have a mirror. But if you're using it for like a train case type thing or poor makeup, the mirror kind of is an odd thing to leave out. Especially at this price point, they normally do have mirrors. And again, like I said, I would not use this to like, you know, mail or anything or you know, put it on a plane. Maybe carry it on. But if you're going to have it with you, I don't think I would put it in the overhead compartment because it is quite squishable and I can see it breaking. But the handle goes back and forth. No, it's not gonna do it. Yeah, it goes back and forth and I don't really know why. I feel like I'm like there's something that's supposed to happen with the handle. But I can't figure out what. So that's this. Like I said, um the normally $29.99 on sale right now for $19.99. I thought it was worth it at that price. At my at the price I paid, definitely I think worth it at uh, $19.99 because as I say quite often, I really like Ulta Beauty Collection products. I consider them worth the money. And okay, that's it. Comment down below. Please like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you all. Have a good day. And I will try to get the video up on who won because I have selected the winners. Um, by the way, what do you think my wild eyebrows are kind of a little heavy there? <laughs> Bye-bye.